Now if you're looking for another substitute to fish like goldfish for example, you might decide to keep the koi carp. Now they're a very active, vibrant, energetic little fish. Come in all sorts of different colours and absolutely perfect for your garden pond. Particularly if your pond's a bit larger because these things do grow quite large and as with most fish they will grow to a certain size within the pond. So if you've only got a smaller pond then the fish will not grow as large because they actually admit pheromones and phenols into the water which actually stunts their growth. But one of the keys to keeping these fish too is to make sure you're feeding them very good quality foods because it will really help their colour because they have quite a quite a striking colour some of them and there is a huge value difference between the cheaper ones and the more expensive ones as far as the balance and strength of the colour of the fish. So when you feed good quality foods like Spectrum you find that the colour of the fish comes out so much better and the pond stays a lot cleaner because these are a very messy fish so using good quality foods to ensure that the pond stays cleaner is really worth its weight in gold. So you tend to keep a pH of around 7.5 for these guys um, and make sure your KH is at least 4. Normally have a um, GH of around 8 and putting a little bit of salt in the water also really helps your immune system. So I find that if you put about 1 teaspoon per 5 to 10 litres um, it really stimulates their body slime, aids their immune system and helps their osmoregulation system. If you are going to keep them in ponds too, I find they just really flourish in well oxygenated water. So adding an extra fountain or an extra circulator in the pond, they really, really appreciate it. Um, keeps them nice and active, gives them plenty of oxygen. They get very friendly too, they'll come right up and eat out of your hand, especially as they get larger. And if you find if you put them in a pond and they're all hiding, usually means you don't have enough of them. If you get some extra ones and you feed them, say, a couple of times a week, you'll find that they interact with you very well. And um, when you go up to the pond, they'll all run up to greet you and want food. If you don't feed them up at all and you also... Um, you don't have enough of them then they'll be a bit skittish and they'll hide when you come up.